This is part fifth of the C-Sharp tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn enum types in C-Sharp. In previous tutorial, we have seen some example of value type and reference type. And in value type, we have covered all the simple types like integral type, floating point types, char type and boolean types. And in this tutorial, we will cover enum types. So before proceeding with this video, I would like to request you to subscribe my channel if you are new to here because in upcoming days, I will be posting most exciting videos based on programming language as well as new technologies. Okay. And also you can get the latest update on our Facebook channel that is Technotips Tutorial and you can visit technotipstutorial.blogspot.com to get the source code okay and if you need to do some discussion you can just go and subscribe our channel on telegram which is technotips ashish okay now let's get started with the enum types so enum also called as enumeration an enumeration is a set of named integer constant it means it will have a list of integer that will have some name and each integer can be accessible through its name enums are only you know for the developer it is not for the end user developers use it just for improving the code understandability okay now let us see some example how to use enum okay so here is my code and in previous tutorial you can see we have discussed some of the simple types okay this is my home controller and this is my index method so first let me remove everything from this method okay now first let us understand how to declare an enum so you just need to type e and u m then your enum name so i'll give an example of this okay and then in curly braces you can declare your days like monday i'm starting from sunday okay sunday monday and after that put a comma here then tuesday and then saturday okay and control kd so here notice that i have not assigned any integer to this named value okay so if you don't assign any integer like this way okay then the default value will would be zero okay now let us understand how to access these value first so you need to take an integer and current let's see current day equal to okay days dot okay if you if you want to check the value of uh, let's say Wednesday okay so use Wednesday okay but here you will see a, a compile time error that cannot implicitly convert this enum to int so you need to explicitly typecast it okay so use int to convert this enum into an integer you can also use convert dot to in 32 and and th then in bracket you can use it okay and then you can remove this int so both will work so the simple way is to just use int into bracket okay now let's run this code and let's check out the output okay so here you go so now press F function F10 so now in the current day here you can see you're getting three integer 
okay so it means the value of Wednesday is 3 notice that we have not set anything so the what would be the value of Sunday so it will be starting from 0 then 1 2 3 and then the Thursday value would be you know 4 5 and then 6 okay so to check that you can also just select this code and then right click here and then select add to watch so now here you can see the value of fatness day is 3 now in this window if you want to check the value of Friday see now the value of Friday is 5 now if you want to check the value of Sunday so here you can see this is 0 okay now just stop this and then I'm assigning Wednesday some value like 6 okay now let's run this code and let me guess uh, the value of each named constant okay like uh, what would be the value of Sunday in this case and what would be the value of Thursday okay now function f10 now the current value of the Wednesday is 6 and now if I check out the value of Wednesday uh, sorry Thursday then it will be 7 okay and the value of Sunday would be 0 again 0 1 2 and then the value of Wednesday you have assigned 6 then the integer will be increased by 1 from this number so the value of Thursday would be 7 and then 8 and then 9 okay let us check here so the value of Sunday is 0 and the Wednesday is 6 right now let us check for Thursday so the value of Thursday is 7 at the last time the value of the Thursday was like 0 1 2 3 4 but this time the value of Thursday is 7 okay and if you want to check the value of Tuesday then it will be Tuesday so the value of Tuesday would be 2 because before you have assigned the value of uh, the Wednesday as 6 okay before that it was increasing by the default value like 0 1 2 okay and then you assigned 6 then the next uh, next named constant will be increased by 1 from the last value so 6 then 7 8 and 9 okay so this is the concept now I stop this and now let us understand why do we need enums okay now I'll show you the real-time example so let us take an enum of the rules like you create some rules in your websites so first you will have a super admin and then we'll have admin and subscriber okay let's suppose your system has these roles present in your database okay and now you want to access this role from the database let's say int role id equal to 3 okay so I'm just assuming that this role id coming from the database I'm not explaining you the database part here and now I want to do something based on the role id okay so if let's say if role id 
equal to equal to 1 then do something okay else if roll ID equal to equal to let's say 3 then again do something okay control KD and else and again do something okay now if you check out the code so this is not understandable if some other developer work on your project then he will say what is uh, what does it mean uh, wh what is the role ID 3 means okay so to increase the understandability so that other developer can understand it you can create an enums of roles and then you can say this is nothing but my subscriber or maybe uh, you assign some value to super adding let's say one two and then three and then four and then the subscriber value would be five so if the role ID would be equal to equal to let's say contributor okay so it means you're checking the ID as 3 so it means role ID equal to 3 so now the other developer can easily understand this if role is subscriber then you can navigate to some other page or do something okay and if role ID is equal to super admin so first typecast that and then call the roles and then super admin okay now and else you can just do something okay so this code is much understandable and much cleaner okay so after all we understood the purpose of using enums and it is widely used in you know real time projects okay so whenever you are coding just make sure that you are not you know using the hard coded value okay instead of that the code should be much cleaner so that other developer can understand it okay so this is all about the enums and if you have any question then you can just drop your question into comment box or you can visit uh, Technotips Ashish telegram channel you can go and subscribe that and uh, again if you like this video then give a thumbs up thank you very much and have a great day